Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Um, you guys are doing good. <laughs> so today we are going to be talking about mesh IDs and texture IDs. This is because I, a lot of you guys have been so confused, just like you ask him to do this and which one, what do they mean and what is it about? And um, there's a lot kind of to talk about. And um, I'm going to quickly show you like what they kind of mean so like so let's just talk about the topic first if you are trying to use them there's a few things they're used for um you can use them for like starter characters um something like these let's i'll show you yeah these are unions let's see i think this is a mesh real quick oh no it's not Oh, it's a union, duh. So, meshes are, like, made from Blender, I guess you could say. And they're, like, not really a part. They're different from parts and unions. The meshes are, like, better than parts and unions, in my opinion, depending on how you do them. Um, but, so, we're just going to quickly do something. So, if you guys are trying to do, like, um, the tycoon thing where and you're probably confused about what mesh ID and uh, texture ID means. So I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm not going to like, I'm just going to show you in the thing. So in the script, it asks mesh ID and texture ID. And if you guys ever see these kind of things where it's like that. So this is like the asset ID. And what you're doing is either you go to Roblox, okay? Go to Avatar Shop. And then you look in here, the all items. Let's say you're looking for a katana or something like that. Like you're saying a dude, you're doing a tycoon. You click on that. And this is if you're doing the catalog. If if this is something that's made by Roblox, then you can go and find it in the catalog and just do that. If you can't, I'll show you how to do this. Um, so once you're here, you're gonna go down to linked items, and this is where you see all this. It says mesh and texture. Open it in a new tab. Now that it says this, this is the mesh ID. So you would put that inside there like that. And then texture ID, you would put that inside there like that. You also could just change that last number right there. But I personally just like to do this because it doesn't mess up either. It will be totally fine. Um, but yeah, so the difference between them is the mesh is the object so like the mesh is the the way it looks like the the whole model of it i guess you could say the texture id is the colors and the effects and all that kind of stuff so that that's the difference between the two and then there's the icon i guess you could say which is just the icon like the thumbnail but yeah so texture and mesh so that's how you find them if you need it out of the uh um out of the catalog now the other thing is if you're trying to use it and you have something that like you found just out of the toolbox so I could go here and searched up katana okay now when you find these depending if it's a mesh which this one is again you open it up now it says all these weird things you can just go to handle why not handle let's see fake sword when you find this mesh object right here, you go down into the properties, and you should always have properties open because that's a big thing. And then it says mesh ID and texture ID. And they were honestly just the same thing we just had. So you could copy this, control C, put it right there, and there you go. And same for texture ID. So if you do find it out of the toolbox and you look around in the tool, and you see that it says um, all these type of things, like uh, all these scripts and everything. But you open one of the, always open one of these if you're trying to look for the mesh, and it should say mesh. And you find your texture ID and mesh ID, and you use it. So, but I mean, that's if you want to use it. But if you are confused on what that is, that's what that is. Um, now, let's say it isn't a mesh. Let's see, this one is. I think this is. Yes, it is. So the other thing is that you can customize your own, which is kind of cool if you want. 
So if you say right here, we got mesh ID, you could keep the mesh ID as that, or you can change it to just like the katana. So let's just grab that. Now you go to handle mesh, mesh ID. We're not going to change it because I like that mesh ID. We're going to go to texture ID, copy that, go inside this one, put it in that one. And it does that. But you know why it's doing that is because the handle, wait, no, it isn't. Why is it doing that? Oh, vertex color, because the vertex color is a different. So if I were to say 0, 1, 0, you could change the color like that. But normally if you wanted to leave it 0, 0, 0. Oh. Well, <laughs> one, one, one. that's what it is. Okay, so that's red. So yeah, 1, 0, 0 is blue, 0, 1, 0 is green, 0, 0, 1 is red, and then all 1s is white. And then black and whatever you don't really want to mess with the color leave it one one because then if you use a different one you can change it but see so, like you can customize things like that but just keep note that the certain mesh ids and text ids are meant for the only certain one so don't if it mixes up it might not work all the time like it might look whack as hell so we're also going to use this in another factor of doing starter characters but um that's going to be in this next video soon so um actually no we're gonna do this right there because why not but uh when it comes to i'll do a starter character video soon enough here it's gonna be pretty cool um so let's say in here you're gonna look and see what i mean by this too so they have the accessories handle um blade master oh that's the back so let's say the silver shuri hair. you go on the handle you can see that the mesh ID is the same one and all that kind of stuff. Let's say I want to change that. So let's go to black hair or something like that. Quickly, you would grab this one, okay? And you go fit mesh ID, copy that, go in here, paste that, and boom. It's already changed and it has its own texture ID. So that's kind of like, this is what it was before. This is what is that after. So that's what I mean. So. You can use a lot of things with meshes, guys. There's just tons of things. But meshes are what shape and form an object. So if you were to just put a part down and search mesh, you could do special mesh, block mesh. Let's do special mesh. Now, it already meshes it for you. Um, and if you don't have a mesh ID, then you don't have a mesh ID. But you could also go like this and change these kind of things. Um... And yeah, it's pretty cool. So you totally can just do that with certain things. So wedges, stuff like that. Um, but that's that's a big thing. So just keep note of that. That's all I'm really going to say. Um, and yeah, so if I put that in there, there you go. So I um, hope you did enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I think I'm going to, in this next video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do rotating objects. And it's going to be pretty cool because there's a few things you can do with it that's like pretty lit. Like it's like dope. So um, it makes things pop and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.